Minnesota's first possession. Brian Talkin takes to Dave Osborne. He's under a heavy rush, but fires a long pass downfield. John Gilliam is behind everyone. He's got it on the 25, and no one's going to catch him. A 56-yard score gives the Vikings a 7-0 lead. Purple Gang stopped the Dolphin attack. Still in the first quarter. Bob Greasy ducks straight back. He fires a short one to Larry Zonka. Zonka is wiped down a crushing tackle by Roy Winston. Officials rule the play an incomplete pass, but the Viking defense is doing the job. When the second quarter begins, Dolphins will have another third down play coming up, which they have not been able to convert. This afternoon, so far, third and ten from our 20-yard line. In the first quarter, the Vikes three first downs to Miami's two. The Vikings 80-yard passing to the Dolphins three. The Vikings rush for 19 yards to the Dolphins 39. Here we go with the beginning of the second quarter. The Vikings out in front by a score of 7 nothing. Briscoe and Warfield are the wide receivers spread to the near side. Dick and Zonka are the split backs in behind Greasy on third down and ten. Here is Greasy rolling out to his left. Sets the fire. He throws deep. It is intended for this goal. Intercepted out of bounds. And it will be rolled an incomplete. And to Brown goes to the left side. He is caught. Shakes the tackle. Across the 15. Out to the 18-yard line. A fumble. And Miami recovered. The Dolphins recovered the football as Brown was Kirk. And the Dolphins come up with it. Dick Anderson is the man pointed out to me by my spotter Bob Schwego as the fellow who comes up with the football. The Dolphins have the football at the Vikings 17. Briscoe splits right, Warfield on the near side, Kick and Zonka are the split back, 10 behind Greasy. 8-16 left to go in this first half, Vikings lead 7-0. Dolphins get a break, here is Greasy dropping the throw. He has time, he fires the end zone, it is intercepted by Bobby Bryant. He's out to the 5, 10, 15, and rolled out of bounds on the far side at the 17-yard line. That pass was intended for Warfield, Greasy going on a post pattern for Warfield, and Bryant, playing it perfectly, just stepped in in front of Paul, picked it off in the end zone, and runs it out to the 17-yard line where center Jim Langer ran him out of bounds. So the Dolphins were not able to capitalize. In this situation, Tarkenton again just falls on top of it. Miami has used their time up, uh, uh, timeouts up. It'll be, bring up a fourth down situation, and the clock uh, moving with uh, 19 seconds. Maybe they will get it off, and maybe they will not. As the Vikings taking all the time they want back in the end zone. Clock continuing to move with nine seconds, eight seconds. I don't think they're going to get the kick away. Six seconds, five seconds before the end of the half. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. And there is the end of the first half as they run it out with the score. Minnesota 7. Our Late in the third period, number 32, Oscar Reed's 22-yard sweep sparked an 80-yard 13-play touchdown drive. With fourth and a half yard to go, Bill Brown dove across, establishing the Vikings' lead at 14-6. Mr. Morris grabs the kickoff, the one yard line, out across the 15 to the 20, break close, down the near side, if he gets a block, he might go, he does not get the corner turn, he's run out of bounds here on the near side of the field at the 30 yard line, the 31. Morris grabbed that short kick, it was a low trajectory kick, uh, back at the one yard line, just as time was in, 
And he bounced off tacklers in a big pile up in the middle on the far side of the field and then uh, came to the near side and did not get the block that he needed. Third and five. Big play here. Mandy, the tight end, switched to the far side of the field. Briscoe and Warfield. Now the other receivers kick and drunk of the split back. Reese drops the throw. Deep. He fires. It is caught. Wide kick. He took it away from the defender. He's got the first down to the 50 yard line. A great catch by Jim Kick. As Paul Krause was in behind him, and he leaped right in front, kicked it, and took the ball away. A first down, and that was the big play. And Greasy converts on third down and picking up a first down. In uh, through the third quarter, the Vikings 10 first downs, Miami 7, 111 yards through the air for Minnesota. Only 32 yards passing for the Dolphins, 131 yards for the Vikings rushing to 97 for Miami. Let's go on Warfield, split to the far side. This is the big play for the Dolphins, third and ten from the midfield strike. Greasy goes back to throw. He sets up, he fires, and it's kicked off by Winston, 35, 40, 45, 50, in the Dolphins' territory across the 45 at the 42-yard line. The Dolphin receiver was down on the ground, and left linebacker Roy Winston, the 11-year veteran from LSU, was had no body to molest him. He picked it off back at the 35 and runs it back to the Dolphins' 43 yard line is where they're going to put it down. Rick, you couldn't ask for better zone defense on that. You know, Bud Grant is probably the man that started the zone defense. And as soon as Greasy got that ball from center, everybody drifted back, getting in their spot, and Winston was right there. Excellent field position at the Dolphins' 43 with 11.28 to go. Tarkenton moved him the last time. Second down to nine. Vikings ball at the Dolphins' 42 yard line. Washington splits to the far side. Gillian comes to the near side. Osborne and Reed, the split backs behind Tarkenton. On the snap, Francis sprints out of his right being pursued, and he is dropped for a big loss back into Viking territory as Nick Bonacani blitzed that time and came barreling in there and flattened him out back at the Vikings' 48 yard line. The Dolphins switching, Bonacani made the tackle. So instead of a third down and nine, it'll be third and 19 as he loses 10, and the play will begin from the Vikings' 48-yard line. Third down and long yardage, Vikings ball at their 48-yard line. 10 minutes, 10 seconds left to go. The Vikings lead 14 to 6. Washington on the snap, drops the throw. He's getting a good rush again. Here's Clark, and he eats the ball for another line. Back at the 42-yard line. So this forces a punting situation. Vern Denherter was there, along with Fernandez. So that brings up a punting situation, and ice shot is in. The ball is back at the 42-yard line in Minnesota territory, and into the ball game comes Charlie Lee as the deep man, and Dick Anderson, the shallow man. Ice shot will stand back at the 25-yard line. Here's the snap. He gets the punt away, low trajectory spiral. Charlie Lee backs up, grabs it to the Dolphins at the 10, starts the far side, 15 to the 20. He is going to be contained at the 20-yard line. 10-yard return, a 48-yard kick. He really booms him out of there. Jeff Wright made the tackle on the Minnesota Suicide Squad. And the Dolphins will start from our 20-yard line with 9 minutes and 35 seconds left to go. There is a timeout on the field. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute. The score, the Vikings 14, our Dolphins 6. Rick Weaver, Luke Quickburn, and Henry Barrow back at Wilmington, Minnesota. The time is running out for the Dolphins, trailing 14 to 6. The first down as we are 80 yards away from our 20-yard line. The Dolphins move from our right to our left. Third down and 7. Big play of the ball game right here for the Dolphins to keep this drive alive from our 23. Greasy dropping the throw. He's getting a rush. He fires the middle. Morris has got it. Shakes the tackler. Gets away for another one, and he gets back to the 29-yard line. He did not make enough for the first down. At least it would appear from here. Mercury was very much aware of where that uh, lead, lead marker was. Winston is the fellow who, who halted him at the 29. He needed to get out just across the 30-yard line, and the Dolphins... Need to keep their hands on this football, trailing 14 to 6. The ball is at the 29-yard line. It'll be a fourth down and one, and they're going to go for it. And our 29, we have to maintain possession of the football to have a chance in this ball game. Seven minutes, nine seconds left to play. Fourth and one. If we, if we don't make it, you know what happens. They've got the two tight ends in, Fleming and, uh, and Mandich. Morris and Zonka, here's the handoff. Mercury hits the middle. He squirts through. He's got the first down out to the 32-yard line. He just put his head down, and uh, behind Zonka gets the first down to the 32. And everybody on that defensive line all figured that Zonka would be hit carrying that ball, all in on top of, of Larry, so this let Mercury slip, slip through, and he had the ball. 
Can't say enough about this Minnesota defense. We've been mentioning the front four all afternoon, and you can't help that their linebackers have been excellent, particularly Winston on the left side, and those uh, secondary men, Kosoki, Bryant, West, have really done a job on the Dolphins' receivers. Greasy, 12 for 26, 83 yards, two interceptions at this stage. Third down and seven. Dolphins ball from our 35-yard line. The big play again. Here is Greasy dropping the throw. He is firing. It is caught by the tight end, Mandich. 45, and he hurdles the tackler up to the 48-yard line. For the first down, Mandich cutting across the middle. Got the ball wide open down the near side. And Bobby Bryant is the fellow who knocked him down. First down for the Dolphins with five minutes and 25 seconds left to go. And here we go with another third down situation. They were crucial early in the ball game when uh, the Dolphins were not able to convert them and they have become even more crucial now with 5.17 left to play. The Vikings with a 14-6 lead. Dolphins third and 10 from our 49. Absolutely essential that the Dolphins maintain possession of the football right now. Briscoe slot left. Warfield split left. Morris and kick of the split back. Briscoe in motion to the right side. Greasy drops the throw. Swings the screen out. Morris has got a 45, 50, cuts to his left. Drive down, 40. He's at the 35, down to the 31 yard line in Minnesota territory, but there is a flag at the Minnesota 49, and it's going to be called back. The Dolphins have hurt themselves with uh, penalties this afternoon. Henry? I believe that's going to be called on Marlon Briscoe. I saw another one down there, Rick. Larry Little came out and had to take that man in, and he couldn't get around him. He just wrapped his arms around him, and he just called hold, no question about it. It's going to be called pass interference. Offensive pass interference on Larry Little. And so, instead of a first down at the Vikings 30-yard line, we have a third down and 25 back at our 34. The Dolphins have to get to the Vikings 41-yard line in order to maintain possession of the ball. 5.07 left to play. Greasy. Here is the end around with Disco carrying. Now he's going to set up to throw the ball. He fires. It is caught by Manning to lose the tackler at the 45, and he did not make a first down to the 44-yard line. But we still have a, uh, a down remaining. Now here's what happened on the uh, supposed end around with Briscoe carrying from the far side. Briscoe wound up throwing a pass. You know, he used to be a quarterback and he hit Mandich. It is fourth down. The Dolphins have the ball at the Vikings 44-yard line with 4.35 to go. And Yepremian is in to try a 51-yard field goal. Down here at the north end, Earl Morrow will hold. There is no angle. 4.24 to go. Shula figuring that a field goal here, still plenty of time left. Snap set down, the kick is up. It is perfect. And Garrow again, the big weapon for the Dolphins with 4.15 to go. Gets us on the board. It's 14 to 9. The Vikings out in front. But uh, I don't know whether you could call that Lou the old flea flicker or not because it was not a pass in the backfield. It was just a handoff to the flanker, uh, Briscoe, coming to the near side. And he used to be a quarterback and started his quarterbacking career with Denver as as a signal caller and a passer, and he hit Mandich with a strike. It's the end of round that we've seen Paul Warfield run so many times, only this time he saw Briscoe out there as the end of round man, the end coming around. And I'll tell you, when he when he set up to throw that ball, he fired that ball beautifully. It looked like Bob Greasy, just right on target. Beautiful pass. West and Clint Jones are back to receive your premium kickoff. There are four minutes and 15 seconds left to go. We are now down by five points, 14 to nine. Premian gets the ball, sets it on the tee, and the pressure is now on the Dolphin defense to get the football back. Waiting for the official's whistle. Here comes Garrow forward. He gets it high, gets it deep. Back underneath the crossbar is Jones, and he is, as he has done every time this afternoon, he downs it. Your Premian kicking has been outstanding. Minnesota has not been able to run the football back, and Garrow has converted on three out of four field goals. That last one being 51 yards, the longest, incidentally, that he has ever kicked in a regular league game. That 51-yard field goal, he had one of 52 yards in that first preseason game. The read, he is thrown for a loss as the right side of the Dolphin defense was in on top of him and knocked him down back at the 19-yard line. Bill Stanfield, along with linebacker Doug Swift, were in there to nail him as he did not find any hole at all. 
They put the ball down back at the 18, so he loses three yards. It'll be third down and 12. Clock is moving with three minutes left to play in this ball game. The Vikings lead 14 to 9. Let's see if the Dolphins can get the football back. Here is the big play of the ball game for Francis Parkinson. He needs to get it up to the 30-yard line to hold on to it. Washington puts to the near side. Gilliam off to the far side. Third and 12, Vikings from their 18-yard line. On the snap, play action. He sprints out to his right. He sets up the play. It is over. Thrown and tennis for Washington incomplete up at the 28-yard line. Parkinson was rushed that time and threw off balance. So the Dolphins will get the football back. And the punt situation here now becomes critical for Minnesota. With two minutes and 38 seconds showing on the board, the clock is stopped on that uh, last incompletion. And Mike Eichheit, who in the first half had a 46 and a half yard punting average, is in to handle a, uh, a kick. A uh, good return here is, is essential for golf and steel position. Charlie Lee is deep, and he can go if he gets the hole. Dick Anderson is shallow. Line of scrimmage, the Viking 18. Eichheit standing at the three. Here's the snap. Flag down. He gets off a low, wobbly kick. Bounces. At the dap and 45, Anderson grabs it and is down immediately at the 40-yard line. I thought I saw something drop back there, but uh, apparently not. So the Dolphins are some 60 yards away with a first down at our 40-yard line. Two minutes, 27 seconds to go. Let's see if we can do it. Trailing 14 to 9. Mandich is the tight end. Warfield flips to the left side. Briscoe is a slot man left. Kick and Morris in the eye. Briscoe in motion off to the right side. Here is Greasy, the pitch to Mercury Morris, the sweep to the right, behind kick, gets the corner turn, and that's all. He has trapped. He has really scissored over there at the, at the 43 yard line on the far side of the field. Dolphin football action will continue in one minute as we are back with the two minute warning now. The score, Minnesota 14, the Dolphins 9. This is Rick Weaver along with Luke Brickfer and Henry Barrow. Back at the uh, dramatically packed ball game between the Minnesota Vikings and our Dolphins. The, the Dolphins have not been able to score a touchdown. We have two minutes to go. Vikings lead 14 to 9. The Dolphins with a second down and seventh situation from our 43-yard line. The fans set up the howl for the defense to take over as they have done all afternoon. Briscoe slips right to the near side of Warfield. Kick in behind Greasy and Morris is a slot man to the right. Here's Greasy. Back to throw. He fires. It is dropped. Almost intercepted by Bobby Bryant. And when I say drop, he started to run with the football before he had it, or he, he might have gone. He had an interception. It was intended for Warfield, but there's a flag down, and we're going to get a penalty against the Vikings for roughing the passer. Pass is intended for Warfield incomplete, but the Dolphins are getting a break here. The uh, penalty against the Minnesota Vikings, a personal foul for roughing the passer, and that is a first down and gives the Dolphins a first down at the Vikings' 41-yard line. They lowered the boom on Greasy and roughed him up after he got rid of the ball, which is the reason the penalty is called. And the officials setting everything now down there among themselves. Larry Little hollering something at uh, referee Tom Bell. Now he starts, gives the indication, blows the whistle. And the ball is in play. The ball at the Vikings 41-yard line. Dolphins need a touchdown. We have not been able to get one this afternoon. Trailing by five points, 14 to nine. A minute 55 to go. First down at the Vikings 41. Briscoe right. Warfield with the near side. Here is the pitch to Mercury Morris. Sweep to the left. He's at the 40. 35. 30. Runs the ball out of bounds. Down at the 28-yard line. Morris carries for another Dolphin first down. On the sweep, but he had uh, Kuchenberg out in front of him that time. Morris picks up a first down. Merck had carried seven times before that play in the ball game for just 15 yards. Howard Twilley comes in for the first time this afternoon. The wide receiver replacing Briscoe. The ball at the Vikings 28-yard line. One minute, 50 seconds to go. The Vikings lead 14 to nine. Can the Dolphins do it against this amazing Minnesota defense? Reese brings it out. He slips fully to the far side. Warfield to the near side. Morris and kick to the split back. From the Vikings 28, Reese fades to Philly. Going for Philly. He's got it. He shakes the tackler and uh, stays in bounds for a couple of extra yards before going out down at the 20-yard line. Just a slant out on the far side of the field, and he got inside of the uh, empty back Charlie West, who ran him out. But he got a couple of extra yards by a little hustle there. It'll be a second down and two. Dolphins ball at the Vikings 20-yard line. Getting the ball out of bounds with 1.44 to go. Block uh, is stopped on the pass completion. The ball at the Vikings 20-yard line. 
And here becoming a little bit apprehensive now. 14 to 9. Vikings lead, but the Dolphins on the move. Twilly splits left. Warfield slot left. Morris and kick. The split box in behind Gracie. Gracie rolls back to his left to throw. He's looking. He is looking. He fires. It is caught by Twilly. 10 out of the 5. He's out of the 3 yard line. A great effort by the little guy from Tulsa. Howard Twilly. And that, of course, is good for a first down. Gracie had all the time in the world. To look for the open man, and he hit fully in the middle. He tried to get in, was caught at the about the seven-yard line, and got to the three before he was dropped. Miami calls a timeout to discuss the situation with a first and goal situation down at the Vikings three-yard line, and we'll hold it here since we are caught up with our commercials. Howard Twilly really just did an excellent job in there, Rick. He was covered two or three times. He just kept running around until he could get away from those. Re- get away from those boys recovering them and finally did get out there and catch that ball beautiful job by little howard we have the ball first and goal at the three yard line we see it during the timeout over discussing the situation with Shula. 14 to 9. dolphins cannot use a field goal they need a touchdown the two tight ends are in Anderson Fleming, morris and drunk up is back in the ball game greasy sets the ball club on the snap drops the throw he fires the middle, wide open, touchdown is Jim Mandich. The Dolphins have scored. We flared the receivers out on both sides. Morris going to this side. And Warfield to the far side, and Mandich just cut into the middle. Caught the football. That is his first touchdown pass of the year, and it could not have come at a bigger time. As the Dolphins, Greasy, sitting on the touchdown cross to tight end Jim Mandich, completes his third touchdown pass of the season. A three-yarder. A 60-yard drive in five plays. And it's now 15 to 14 as Gero Euphemian will try the point from placement. Morrow will hold. There's a minute and 28 seconds left to play in this ball game. Waiting for the snap. Here it is, set down. The kick is up, and it's perfect. So the Dolphins have only a two-point lead, 16 to 14. Now, with a minute and 28 seconds to go, it is up to the defense to keep the Vikings out of field goal range. Field position becomes all important. Well, now, Garrow has been kicking the ball out of sight. Minnesota has not run back a kickoff this afternoon, and this is where he really wants to get one back there so that there's no run back. Field position, all important. Cox, the great kicker on the Minnesota bench. The Dolphins with a 16-14 lead with a minute and 28 seconds to go. And back deep is Speedster John Gilliam, number 42, for the first time off to the far side, and Clint Jones, number 26, down the near side. Here is the whistle. Yepremian forward gets his toe into it. He gets it high. Will there be a run back? Gilliam grabs it three yards deep. He's going to run it out to the five, the ten, the fifteen, and he is jammed up before he gets to the uh, before he gets to the twenty-yard line. Bob Matheson down there on the Dolphins specialty team. So he gets it out to the nineteen. And had they elected not to run it out, they would have gotten the ball at the twenty. So Tarkenton is eighty-one yards away. With a minute and 23 seconds showing on the clock, and listen to this crowd. Dolphins lead 16 to 14. 53 seconds, clock moving, 52. They still have all their timeouts left. Miami has just two left. Second down, and about seven. Clocking is scrambling, throwing a short screen out to the near side. Reed trying to get around Dick Anderson. He can't do it. Anderson drops him at the 30 yard line, but that might be enough for a first down. That might be enough for a first down. Reed. The open man on a flare pass to the near side, and it is a it is a first down for Minnesota. And the Vikings call a timeout to discuss the, the strategy. The clock shows 37 seconds. The ball is 70 yards away from the end zone, but uh, Cox has been known to kick them over 50 yards. All right, uh, talking then after discussing the situation with Coach Bud Grant on the far sideline. Comes back out, time is back in, 37, fourth down, and eight is what they need for a first down. 15 seconds to go, the Dolphins lead 16 to 14. Tarkenton spreads receivers all over the place. He's got Reed and Osborne, the split backs in behind him. He drops the throw, fourth down flag. Here's the swing pass, Osborne's got it at the 40 and runs it out of bounds. He's got the first down at the flag. The penalty is not against Minnesota. He runs it out of bounds at the 42. The clock is stopped with 10 seconds showing. Illegal procedure is the call against Minnesota. Of course, we'll take this penalty, and it'll be a fourth down and 12 for the Vikings. The ball back at the, their 27-yard line. And Tarkenton back to throw. He's going deep down the near side. He's got a man down here. Up they go. Who's got it? Down at the 30-yard line. Intercepted by the Dolphins. Let's see what the officials rule it. Intercepted, and the man who intercepted it is... Lloyd Mumford. Lloyd Mumford, and... 
They put the ball down at the 31-yard line. So the pass intended for Washington. Lloyd Mumford, a couple of other Dolphins went up. We had to wait for a moment to see who was going to come down with it. The defensive man has as much right to the possession of the football as does the offensive man. And there is the end of the ball game. What a comeback for our Miami Dolphins. The final score, the Dolphins 16, the Vikings 14.